this demonstration we're going to have a look at how we can configure software metering agent first thing we need to do is we actually do need to do something on the client machine in order to enable the software metering so what we're going to do here is we've just come into our admin console for system center we've come into the administration workspace and what we're now going to do is we're just going to come down to client settings within client settings we're just going to go to the properties of the default client settings and what we're going to do is we're going to come to software metering We're going to ensure that enable software metering on clients is set to yes. We've got scheduled data collection. So as we can see, it occurs every seven days, but we can modify the schedule if we so require. So we'll select OK at this point here because we're fairly happy that the client settings are correct. So the next thing to do is to create a software metering rule. In order to do that, we do that through assets and compliance. We then come down to our software metering. And we can have some things already in place so as we can see we already have some default rules we're going to create our own so let's just right click on software metering and what we're going to do here is create a software metering rule this will bring us into a wizard so within the wizard we just need to fill out our information what we've done here is we're going to call this calc rule and then what we're going to do here is we're going to specify this rule against calc.exe any version, any language, and our description is calculated program. And we're going to do this for clients assigned to the following site being S01. So we'll select our next button. That brings us in the summary page, so we'll read through that. We'll select next, and we'll allow this to progress. Now it's progressed, it's created our rule, so we can now select close. Next thing we'll do here is we'll just look at the properties of software metering. So we'll go to our software metering properties. And as you can see, just brings me into the general page. So what we've got here is we've got recent usage inventory settings. So specify the amount of time and days that the software metering data is retained in the database. So we've got 90 days here by default. We've got automatically create disabled metering rules from recent usage inventory data. So we can specify the percentage of computers in the hierarchy, the most user program before the software metering rule is automatically created. And what we're going to do here is we're going to change this to, let's say, 5. And we can also specify the number of software metering rules that must be exceeded in the hierarchy before the automatic creation rule is disabled. And what we'll do at this point here is we'll set this to, let's set that to 25. Now we've done that, we'll just select OK. We have some reports we can run against software metering, so to do that we'll just come down to monitoring. We'll just go for our reports. So we scroll this up, as you can see, we're in our reports under reporting. And if we scroll this down a little bit, what we're looking for here is we're just looking for software metering folder. And under our software metering folder, we've got a number of reports. So if we click on the software metering. So as you can see, we have a number of reports that we can run against software metering. So for example, what we have here is we've got users that have run a specific meter software program. Self-explanatory, really, it's going to give us information relating to all the users that have run that metered software. Metering is quite important because what it gives us is it gives us information relating to the programs that our users are running. So what we could do here is we could see which programs users are running regularly. We can pay maintenance on those and we can have a look and find the programs potentially aren't being utilised. There's no point maintaining those applications. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.